Hello guys and welcome to another video. I haven't done one of these in a while, but recently uh, Samsung just released Android 5.0.1 for the Galaxy S4. This one is the SGH1337M model, so it is the North American model. I'm on uh, Rogers Canada. So, let's just walk through this. This is an official build. You got the new lollipop animation and uh, the little flappy bird um, UI there. Now, let's talk about the TouchWiz actually. So, one thing you notice about TouchWiz is it looks a little different. Now, the Android 5.0 they've gone with the new Google's new material design, which I do like, and it's a lot more smoother. There's a new ART runtime thing which will use less RAM to save your battery because these phones have really powerful processors and now we just eat away at the battery. Now one thing we do notice is the launcher. The app launcher is a lot more cleaned up, nice looking. You still got the button functionality here, able to hide apps and Look at your downloaded apps or view as certain things. Um, we also have the ability to change the transition effect on the home screen. So right here I can choose between just a basic swipe, card stack, or the old 3D rotation on older Samsung phones. Another thing we notice is the music it is now has the new material design that Samsung and Google have been working on so it is bringing a lot of the S5 functionalities back to the old, older flagship from Samsung and we also can in through here in the settings and the folders change the colors of the folder itself which I think is pretty neat because you can just play around with the colors there's Blue, gray, purple, hazel, and green. So another another neat thing that comes on the S4 now with Android 5.0.1. Uh, I've absolutely had no problems with it crashing. Um, other than that, I do find this to be a great phone with this new um, operating system. Nothing really else new with any of the other Samsung apps. They're pretty much all your basic apps. You get the new S Voice, right? Okay, so the camera has not really changed off the Galaxy S4. It was known for its high resolution when it came out uh, in 2014, and I still think it's a great camera even though it is only 13 megapixels uh, still does the job as a, any other smartphone camera and it's pretty easy to navigate through just like it was on Android 4.2.2 and Android 4.4.2 KitKat which was the last uh, OS that this phone received let's just go ahead and take a picture working okay well that is not working right now um, so pretty much nothing else has really changed on the phone other than that uh, the Android 5.0.1 build works extremely well implementing Google's material design um, and this is an fit this is a official This is an official build. So, uh, I'll see you guys next time. You guys enjoy the rest of your weekend. Peace out.